so hey guys welcome back to the channel um, I did my first inspection of the season and to my surprise in January the Queens had already started laying brood worker brood and drone brood um, and I took a quick look if you if you watched the last video I took a quick look at what type of resources they had and in my opinion they didn't have enough uh, resources at this time of year to, to have emerging brood as well so I'm gonna feed the girls and uh, I'm gonna actually feed them all now with this one being just a, a deep I'm gonna swap out one of the frames for a, a frame feeder with these girls I don't want to crack the seals on the others um, just for the sake of cracking the seals so what I'm going to do is I am going to on the others I'm going to put some paper towel on top of the frame and then put uh, sugar on top of the paper towel but the first thing I'm going to do is get swap a frame out in here for these girls and uh, give them some some resources they need a sugar water more than they need an, an empty frame so let me grab that sugar water frame feeder now I've done this at uh, um, one part one part sugar two parts water don't panic I'm not here to steal no propolis in between let's see let's see what I can work with if I put that in there Hello, little girl. Let's see if I can get you in. Oh, this time of year. All right. Guess I'll keep an eye on it. All right, girls. You've got some food. how you do with that so they've got a gallon of sugar water the rest of like I say I don't want to crack them seals on those supers so I'm just gonna put some uh, some paper towel on the top of the frame and then some sugar on top of that so just some nice white pollen coming in so I'm gonna grab some uh, some paper towel and some sugar Get you some food. You know, this is super, super easy. Of course, it's um, self-explanatory. Get a paper towel, and I'm just going to sit that. Top. Girls, here's your food. Some of you are going to have to move, girls. Some of you 
I'm going to, they're not clustered, they're working. They're working the frames. Thank you, ladies. So just over the frames like that. out just a little bit and then they'll uh, they'll chew through that uh, paper <coughs> they've got some some resources so I'm gonna go through them all and do the exact same thing watch how fast I can do it Alrighty, so just to recap, I did my first inspection. My queens are laying brood already, and in order for that emerging brood to, to be fed, um, I wasn't happy that they had enough resources, and it's only January still. So with this one being a just a single deep, these these are still clustered. They're not really working. Um, I've given these a frame feeder, a gallon frame feeder of uh, one to two sugar water, and the rest um, I've uh, I've replaced the lid on this one. There was a problem with the lid, and it had some uh, water damage on the inner cover, so I've replaced the lid. And hopefully, that will take care of that. The rest of the hives are working. They're working the frames. They're bringing in pollen. Um, like I said, there's, uh, there's uh, brood, uh, as you saw in the, l the last video, whole frames of brood in those top supers. So you know that she's got plenty of uh, brood in those bottom deeps. Um, so they've all got some food and because it's just sat on top of the frames, even if we have a, a, a cold snap, I'm not concerned. I, c I can always just crack that lid um, and when they've run out of that sugar just replace it and I'll probably do that um, for the next foreseeable future like I said it's uh, it's the 31st of it was the 31st of January when I did my first inspection and the whole frames of worker bees um, so I'll continue that all the way through February and make sure that they've got enough resources for the emerging uh, bees well, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, take five seconds out of your day. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you know when we upload a new video. Um, I'll keep you on top of the whole um, feeding them over the next few weeks, keep making sure they've got enough food. Uh, and like I'll, I'll reiterate what I said in the last video, you get your bees through winter and you think, great, awesome they survived the cold winter they they kept that uh, cluster nice and tight uh, and uh, now they're good they're good to go spring will start and they'll start to uh, start growing well this time of year this is a perfect example i was hands off hey they've gone through winter great um i checked this and checked this one just out of pure because it was the smallest one i've never took something so small through winter and checking the others just out of curiosity and realized that the queen has started laying and there's cat brood all over the place so right now with no nectar they need a source of food that you know that they, they're bringing in pollen like I said they never stop bringing in pollen here in North Georgia uh, but there's no nectar so they need our help at this point with the sucrose water uh, or, or sugar like I've done on these the the uh, what will happen is over the next few days the condensation that rises and hits the top of the uh, hive that will drip down onto that sugar and make it like a sugar block like a sugar patty um, and then they'll just be able to to chew on it when they need it but 
I didn't put a ton of sugar in. I didn't put a four pound bag in worth. Um, so I'll just keep an eye on it. Like I said, it's at the top. I'm not concerned. We're, we're heading for an early spring. So I, I don't think I'm going to be out here in the snow this, this year. But uh, that's all I've got, guys. Um, we will see you on the next video.